The smartphone in your pocket is already a powerful tool for gathering data from the world around you. But what if you could use it to peer into the microscopic world of cellular structures? In this weekend project, you can easily turn your smartphone camera into a powerful microscope. All you need is a few tools, the focus lens from a cheap laser pointer or two, and about $10 worth of materials from the hardware store to build an ultra-portable microscope capable of 175x magnification. The focus lens of just about any laser pointer will serve as the macro lens on the microscope. Don't waste money on an expensive model. The lens from a $2 laser is fine. To get the lens from the laser pointer, start by unscrewing the front cone of the laser. The front of this assembly is where the focus lens sits. Unscrew the small black plastic retainer in front of the lens and the lens will come free. It's difficult to see with the naked eye, but the lens is not symmetrical. Looking through one side of the lens will provide more magnification than the other. To test this, hold the lens in place with a bobby pin and place it in front of your phone's rear camera. Use tape to hold it steady if you need to. Determine which side produces the greater magnification and set it aside, but remember which side is up. Next we'll build the stand. Cut your plywood base down to a 7 by 7 inch square. Then trim your plexiglass down to the same size. To cut the plexiglass, score the top surface with a utility knife. Make several passes and use a ruler to keep the cuts straight. Put your scored line at the edge of your workbench and then using a scrap of wood, place even pressure along the panel. Push down on the piece you want to cut away in a fast, firm action and you should get a clean cut. Use this technique to cut a 7x7 inch piece of plexiglass for the camera stage and a 3x7 inch piece for the specimen stage. Mark the top of the plywood base at the front two corners, 3 quarter inch in from both the sides and the front edge. Make a third mark, centered, 3 quarter inches in from the back edge. Stack the plexiglass camera stage on top of the base. Then stack the specimen stage on top of the camera stage with 3 quarter inches of the specimen stage extending over the front of the base. Clamp and drill through the entire assembly. Don't press too hard with the drill or the plexiglass might crack. Just let the drill do the work. The bolts that stick up through the base must be counterbored in order for the stand to sit flat. Flip the base over and counterbore the holes with a large bit to accommodate the bolt heads. Now we'll mount the lens. Find a drill bit slightly smaller than the diameter of the lens. Then measure, mark, and drill a hole for the lens in the camera stage, 3 quarter inches in from the front edge and in line with the bolt holes. If the lens doesn't quite fit, use a file or sandpaper to enlarge the hole. Work slowly and test the fit often. It's easy to overshoot and make the hole too large. Finally, it's time to assemble the microscope. Use your hardware to build the structures you see here, but don't install or tighten the top nuts yet. Use a level to make sure the stage is actually flat. When the stage is level, tighten down the final nuts. The compression springs keep the specimen stage stabilized and allow for far finer adjustments with the wing nuts. Slides will help with placing and viewing samples. Use some of your leftover plexiglass and break it down into 2 by 4 inch pieces. Now it's time to take some pictures. Align your smartphone camera lens with the microscope lens. Bring the object into focus by slowly turning the wing nuts on either side, then use your phone to take a picture or video, or even zoom in for a closer look. If you build a smartphone microscope, tweet your photos to us at Make.